Today's topic is coding, and I have a lot of links uh, that relate to coding. So I created a Google Doc. It's bit.ly slash LB coding, and you can uh, explore these at your leisure or as you uh, watch the video. Let's start by talking about Scratch. This is a web and based uh, programming environment that's very popular with uh, people learning to code. It uses puzzle pieces. You drag them onto your uh, little script here on the right. And over time, you can create simple or very complex uh, algorithms. This is a simple one. It watches uh, for input from the right arrow key. And if you press the right arrow key, it moves the little guy over here on the stage. It moves him 10 steps to the right. So if I press the right arrow key and press it again and press it again, it walks this guy across the, the page. Very simple program, but it took about 30 seconds to create. Wow. You can create much more complicated things. Here's a racing game where you drive the car around the track using the arrow keys. You press the A key to get a turbo boost, and you got to do two laps in the shortest amount of time. So uh, this is a little more complicated. This took an hour or two probably to create, and it keeps track of laps. It keeps track of time. It watches to see if you crash into uh, the edge of the road. So if you bump into the green, the car crashes. So I actually had to create graphics. Here's my car. Here's my crashed car. And the nice thing about Scratch is anyone can look at anyone else's program. And in fact, you can do what's called a remix. You can take someone else's program and you can change it or make it better or just change it for the sake of changing it. Everything is licensed Creative Commons, so this is actually encouraged. Now, if you have younger kids uh, and a tablet, there's something called Scratch Junior. If you have, uh, you know, by the time you get to end of elementary school, middle school, there's something called Hopscotch, which uh, on your iPad lets you do the same kind of puzzle piece sort of programming. If you have a high school student or a college student, uh, Berkeley took Scratch and uh, elevated its capability into what they call Snap. Snap is just like Scratch, except you can actually make your own puzzle pieces if there's something that the program doesn't do. If you'd like to create an app for a tablet or for a phone, you can use the App Inventor and create an Android app. Test it on the web and then push it out to your tablet or to your phone. If you'd like to learn a whole programming environment, there's a program called Alice. You download it, install it. This is like a summer project. It's, a, it's quite extensive in the things that you can do. If you'd like to make a game, there's something called Construct2, and you download this program and install it. And once you install it, you can. it's designed to quickly make a game. So I, I installed it, imported a, a picture of our gym floor, along with two little icons, one of the eagles, one of the black knights, and then I wrote some code. And my code says, click on the black knights so that they can't escape off the top, but never click on an eagle. Eagles always need to float off the top. So these little icons go up and off the screen. If a black knight goes off, you lose a life. If an eagle goes off, you score a point, and you keep going until the game's over. It speeds up over time. So again, look at the, the links I provided. I've got a link to that the little eagle game if you want to try that. Uh, and I encourage you, especially with summer coming up, that you take a little bit of time and look at some of these programming environments so that when your students ask about them, you can point them in the direction you think would be interesting for them.